Hey guys, so I had a request to show how the new CoverGirl foundation looked on its own. This is the 3-in-1 All Day Flawless, and I picked up the shade 825, which is Golden Honey. So I'm just going to apply that um, really quickly. I'll probably speed through that part, and I'll wear it throughout the day. I just have a couple errands to run. Um, it is cloudy. It's mostly cloudy outside, so I don't know if that's going to alter how it looks on the camera, but hopefully it'll look okay because, like I said, I have not worn this foundation on its own, and I plan on just wearing it and not setting it with any powder no primer or anything so I can really excuse me get the true color of the foundation so only thing I've done is my eyebrows I have on a little bit of moisturizer and that is all so without further ado here's the tutorial Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you what the foundation looked like while I was outside in as much natural daylight as I can get. Um, only thing I did was added a little bit of blush, which is Wet n Wild's Mellow Wine, and a little lip gloss and some um, mascara and eyeliner, and that is all. So I'm hoping you can see the color. I don't know how you can how it looks compared to my neck. I think it looks a smidge darker, but I don't think it's too bad. So anyway, guys, um, the time is about 12:10, and I will be back in a few to show you how it looks after a couple of hours of wear. Hey everyone, I am back and the time is 4.52 p.m. and it is 73 degrees outside so it's been very mild out there today and this is what my skin looks like. Um, like I said, I have not primed, I did not apply a powder and I did not blot throughout the course of the day and it's working on almost five hours and I would have recorded this a little bit later in the, you know, towards the evening but I know that I would lose the natural sunlight or whatever light is out there so I just had to record it, you know, when I had the chance. So this is what my skin looks like I am going to be looking over there in my monitor so don't feel like I'm not talking to you I'm still talking to you <laughs> okay so I think that my skin has like a little bit of a glow going on I wouldn't say that it was oily um, when I pat my fingers I'm not really picking up any residual oil I would just say that's just the natural glow of the, you know of my skin so I think that the foundation looks pretty good um, like I said I do believe the foundation for me at least is medium coverage for some people it might be a full coverage but for me I kind of tested along the areas where I have um, issues like my hyperpigmentation and that's not fully covered and around my mouth you can still see the little bit of discoloration I have on the size of my jaw but other than that I think it looks pretty good I think it gives a nice natural finish I don't feel heavily made up I don't feel like I'm really wearing anything at all and that's definitely a plus because I don't like that feeling of foundation just sitting on your skin so I definitely did not get that throughout the whole day and like I said I don't have on a powder I haven't blotted I haven't done anything to alter the look of the foundation so this is what it looks like on its own I do think that I could stand some under eye concealer I feel that it didn't cover that area quite as nicely as I would have liked it to but other than that I don't really have any complaints about the foundation um, I did state in my last video that I would possibly get a lighter shade and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not or just kind of work with this one I might just test it out again and see if I use it with my uh, setting powder how that turns out and I don't know I don't I, I know when I swatched it on my hands, I found that on the edges of the foundation, it started to darken up really fast. And I don't really see, I don't know, I don't really feel like that happened on my face. And that might be because, you know, the, the swatches were just, you know, they were just there. They weren't blended out or anything. So, 
I still feel that it does oxidize some, but I don't know if it's like a full shade is what I originally have thought it was. Now this is how it looks in compared to my decollete. And it is, you know, there is a slight color difference. I wouldn't say it was too bad or too noticeable. And I kept on looking at the mirror throughout the course of the day because I'm like, I don't want to be out here looking crazy because I felt kind of bare because I didn't set it with the powder or do anything else to it and just wore it, you know, on its own. And I knew the color was slightly off. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I'm not looking crazy. But anyway, this is what the foundation looks like. And um, I'm really happy with it. I am quite pleased with it. I don't know if there's anything about the foundation that I didn't mention. Um, the three in one stands for being a powder, a concealer, and foundation like all in one formula. I would say that if you have dry skin, make sure you moisturize your skin really well. You might want to exfoliate the night before or something like that because I, I would say that this would stick to like dry patches if you have anything like that on your face. And it does has uh, does does has what <laughs> it does have SPF of 20, which is awesome. Even though I use um, sunscreen daily anyway, but for people who don't, this does have SPF of 20. And I don't know if there's anything else that I haven't said about the foundation. You guys be the judge on how it looks, but I think it looks pretty well. I think that. The coverage is just enough for what I need. Um, you know, some people prefer an extreme full coverage. I just want something that's going to just, you know, even me out somewhat, make me look a bit more polished and look like I took some time to do something in the morning, even though usually I don't have a lot of time running around with the little one. But anyway, that is all. So if you guys have any more comments or any additional questions or anything like that, please feel free to leave them. And I guess I will see you on the next one. So thank you so much again for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye.